Well, we started our journey nearly three months ago at the beginning of winter. And since then, we've traveled over 300 kilometers inland through quite a difficult mountain range and up onto the edge of the polar plateau where we are now at about 2,800 meters. And all the research we did beforehand with mapping, satellite imagery, radar imagery, and talking to people that have traveled here before, we expected that by now we'd be in much easier terrain and that would take us all the way to the pole. But when we got here, it wasn't quite as easy as we thought. And we've been in amongst some quite large, complex crevassing now for well over a month. And progress has been incredibly slow. We've been using our ground penetrating radar, doing a lot of foot reconnaissance, trying to find a route through. And at times we've had to bulldoze snow into crevasses, build bridges over them, and then very slowly winch all our loads across these difficult, dangerous crevasses. But now we're into the permanent darkness of winter and the crevassing, if anything, has got worse. The other difficulty we've got is that because progress has been so slow, uh, our fuel burn for the last month has been well over double what it should have been. So we're in a very difficult position. The risks uh, in my opinion now are just far too high. So although none of us wanted to make this decision, unfortunately we've decided that it's no longer viable to push south. But for the five of us here, it's not all over. We've got another six months here before we can leave the continent. So our education and our science program are being expanded and we're going to stay where we are at altitude to try and make the very best use of the time that we've got here. And then at some point when the daylight returns, we've got another 300 kilometer journey back to the coast through some of this really difficult crevassed terrain before we can get everything loaded on a ship and go home.